uh, a great gentleman, uh, fine, upstanding man, good Catholic. Uh, and, it, you know, you can't knock Gil Hodges. My hope is, and my dream, and I think I feel positive, that at the right time, that the Veterans Committee will, will look at Gil Hodges, as they already have a number of times, among all the others who they have to consider. And I believe Gil will make it. Uh, most of his teammates are in. It may be hard for American League uh, members of the Veterans Committee to say, what, another Dodger? And it may be difficult for them. But I believe that uh, looking at his overall contribution, uh, he'll round out the infield that uh, justifies being in there. I wish they'd get on the ball and get him in because I'd uh, love to have him uh, have that, uh, that shrine and, and, and his plaque up in, uh, in Cooperstown along with the rest of us. Hey, golly, I, I, haven't, I haven't heard anything negative about Gail Hodges. When I played with him for quite a few years in Brooklyn and in Los Angeles, I never heard anything negative about Gail Hodges. I don't, I don't believe there was anything negative about him. The Hall of Fame uh, should be from character, ability to play the game of baseball, and what you did for the game of baseball. And, and Gil, no question about it, one of the greatest glove men ever played first. He was a good hitter. He had a lot of home runs. And as far as character is concerned, there's no question. You know, it's it just absolutely 100% as far as I'm concerned. Yes, I'd very much like to see Gil in the Hall of Fame. He could beat you with a home run. He could beat you with a base hit. But, you know, he could field. He could throw. He could run. And, uh, I mean, he could beat you other ways than just with a home run. Uh, good hitter, yes. Power, yes. He hit the all fields. Gil was uh, an outstanding player. Um, saved many, many games with his defense, even when he wasn't hitting. So um, it's hard to imagine that uh, Campanella, who was catching on that infield, Reese at shortstop, Robinson at sh second, all in the Hall of Fame, uh, it just seems incomplete that uh, Gil Hodges would not be a member of that outstanding infield. And uh, I think in time uh, that will happen and it will be certainly justified. During the Brooklyn Dodger glory years, Gil Hodges fashioned a career that is worthy of induction into baseball's Hall of Fame. As a player, a manager, and a man, he belongs. It states in the requirements for selection to the Hall of Fame that members shall be chosen based upon the basis of playing ability, integrity, sportsmanship, character, and their contributions to the team or teams on which they played, and to baseball in general. Indeed, when you describe a man who had tremendous abilities, a man of character and integrity, who made enormous contributions to his team and to baseball, you're describing Gil Hodges. As a Hall of Famer, Gil Hodges qualifies in many ways. His 370 career home runs attest to his consistent power throughout his career. His 11 consecutive seasons of 20 or more home runs, during which time he hit over 30 round trippers six times and over 40 twice, place him among the premier power hitters of his era. Indeed, in all of Major League Baseball in the decade of the 1950s, Gill finished second in home runs to Duke Snyder and third in extra base hits to Snyder and Stan Musial. Also for that decade, he was in the top 10 in games, runs, hits, walks, and total bases. But perhaps the most telling statistic is this. The top 10 home run hitters of the power-laden era from 1940 to 1960 were Mickey Mantle, Ted Williams, Eddie Matthews, Stan Musial, Duke Snyder, Gil Hodges, Ralph Kiner, Joe DiMaggio, Johnny Mize, and Yogi Berra. Of these 10 players, only one is not in the Hall of Fame, Gil 